And we've been joined now by ECU head coach Scotty Montgomery. Um, ECU is 2-5 and five overall, 0-4 uh, in the American. Uh, the Pirates were in action Saturday against UCF. Uh, UCF won the game 37-10. to 10. Uh, ECU is idle this week. The Pirates' next game will be November 3rd against Memphis. Uh, coach, thank you for joining us on the call. If you would uh, take a minute to tie up the game against UCF, please. Uh, and maybe your thoughts on the as you approach the open week as you get ready for the, uh, the game against Memphis on the 3rd. You know, I, I thought our guys came to play against uh, definitely one of the top teams in the country uh, this past week. Uh, we were led by our quarterback, Holden Aylers. He had a couple of young uh, mistakes. I think we can get those fixed. Did a much better job, had much better rhythm on offense. Defensively, we came back and played well. Uh, offensively, it came down to mental areas in the red zone uh, and not taking care of the ball. Anytime you have five turnovers in the game, uh, it doesn't matter who you're playing, uh, you won't be successful. But uh, you take those turnovers out of the, this football game, we got a lot better at the quarterback position this week defensively. Uh, you know, we, we did a good job in the passing game uh, by them switching quarterbacks and not playing. Uh, McKenzie uh, kind of changed who they were a little bit offensively, uh, went heavily in the quarterback runs, caught us off guard just a little bit uh, there throughout the, the game. Uh, but uh, him not playing kind of cut us off guard. Uh, but uh, we, we adjusted at different times in the game. I thought defensively we played good enough to be right there in that game. Gave up a play late, 75-yard run where we just weren't gap sound. Got to be much better than that. And uh, special teams, I thought they did a good job. We forced some field goal kicks, and and uh, he just did a really good job of hitting some crucial and timely field goals. I thought that uh, that was a, a, a winning edge for them in the special teams categories is how how well he kicked the football, uh, the, the the entirety of of the of the football game. Uh, looking forward to the the open date. We got to get some guys back healthy. We've had some problems in our offensive line. With injuries, hopefully these couple of weeks will give us an opportunity to get guys back and practicing. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have a heavy week of uh, of pads here this week. See some of our young guys uh, in some scrimmage situations, and looking forward to seeing some guys that we haven't played in the four games uh, that that were uh, that we're trying to save some games for non red shirt guys uh, and red shirt guys, I should say, uh, to get going in the second uh, second half of the season here. We'll take questions for Coach Scotty Montgomery, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. And star one for questions, please. Coach, I'll ask the first one, if I may. Uh, how, how, um, I'm sorry, we do have a question come in. We'll defer to that one, please. Yes, we'll first go to Tom Shanahan with the News and Observer in Raleigh. Hi, Coach. I uh, just wanted to check to see if there's any update on uh, Reed Herring now that you've had a, some time to evaluate him. Yeah, so he's in concussion protocol, uh, unfortunately, in the accident last week. Um, he, he did sustain a concussion. Um, I don't know the uh, uh, exact details of how he sustained it, but it was definitely in the accident. So we did evaluate him, put him through a couple of impact tests. That's where he is now. We're, we're feeling pretty confident that he's going to come out of the concussion protocol here soon, um, but he's doing well. He, he's with us, um, and uh, we just got to continue to work to get him back. It was a very unfortunate situation. Hated it pay, played out public uh, as it did, uh, but that's that's kind of the world that we live in, uh, And but but Reed is, is doing well. Hope his family and friends are okay uh, with hearing it this way, but he's, he's, doing, he's doing well. Hopefully, he'll come out of the concussion protocol. Thanks, Coach. Coach, I'll take the next question then. If, um, if you would uh, give your assessment of, of how you felt your quarterback played Holton Aylers, and I believe, I believe he's now the fifth uh, freshman to start a game at quarterback in the conference this year. Um, so maybe your thoughts on maybe the challenges and, and some of the things that he brings to the table, but also some of the challenges of having a freshman uh, in such a key spot. Well, I thought he played well, well above the line of any freshman that we could have, you know, could have thought that a freshman could play. Uh, since we did bring the offense a little bit more to him and we're, we're, we're kind of uh, keying the offense more toward his skill set, uh, he did a really good job. I thought he showed up really well. Uh, we got to get uh, the people that are working with him uh, on the same page in all these situations. There's a lot of learning that had to go on last week in a four-day period, and I thought he did a good job of it. We can do better at it at different places. Uh, I thought he really protected himself in the game as well as we could imagine. Uh, usually the reason why you don't play quarterbacks early in the year is because they can't protect themselves in, in, in quarterback protections and making sure that they don't get hit. He did a good job uh, of that. He had a couple of, 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 of young, young mistakes, of course, not taking care of the football. Uh, but I think that he is going to be fantastic. We, we've definitely 
Uh, so uh, a great deal of energy provided to our offense that we hadn't had in a couple of weeks, a few weeks. Uh, and uh, it, it was good to see him go out and, and, and at least execute. You know, he went out and put up almost 500 yards of total offense uh, against a team that was used to giving up around 350 yards or so of offense. And um, that, that shows that he's, uh, he's capable. Now we've got to get him to reduce the amount of turnovers that he had. And if he can reduce those turnovers, those turnovers will turn directly into points. That was the only thing that stopped us from scoring. We had turnovers at the end of X plays, or turnovers at the uh, inside of our 10-yard line, which uh, which is disheartening. But at the same time, it's encouraging to know that we got a guy that can move the ball up and down the field in multiple ways. Thank you, Coach. Do we have any final questions for Coach Montgomery, please? Again, star one on your telephone keypad. Coach, thank you for your time today. Enjoy the open week, and we look forward to talking to you again next Monday.